So the theater weirdos here on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Perfect time to go see the movies. I'm here with R.A. Bartlett. And oh my God, is that Mortal Kombat super fan Kenny Nardoza? Hey, get his attention, why don't you? Get over here! Oh, oh God. So what did you want, man? Oh, we're going to the movies. Oh, right on. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, uh, oh, do you have $10? Maybe I do. Mortal Kombat! Hey, so what's up, Kenny? Haven't seen you in a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, I, I'm, I got my purple mask on because it's raining. And we all know Rain is the purple ninja, named after Purple Rain from Prince. How many people can say they knew that? Huh. I'm glad you came. I wouldn't have ever known that. So you're a huge Mortal Kombat dude. You got the jacket. Look at these patches. The jacket, got the patches. I actually have a question about Mortal Kombat. There's little R.A. holding his little extension cord with the plunger on the end. I have a question about Mortal Kombat. Are the movies canon? Because how are they possibly... How could the movies be canon when at the end of each game only one person is left alive? Yeah, I don't even think they know what the canon is anymore. You know, these, that first movie came out in 95 and then the other one came out in 97, Annihilation. One of the worst movies of all time. I don't even think that was number one at the box office, right? Oh, well, it actually was number one at the box office. Uh, but it, like it got uh, its uh, butt kicked later by Starship Troopers, I think. Which makes sense. It's a much better movie, Starship Troopers. It's a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I can even admit that. Did you see the original Mortal Kombat in the theater? Yes, I did. My dad actually took me to see it. I was probably 15 years old, I think, at the time. Uh -huh. And I, I really hated it after I watched it, but as I go back and... We watch it again. It actually isn't a bad movie for uh, a video game movie, you know. It's definitely much better than Street Fighter, which also came out around that time. Uh, yeah, no, um, well, yeah, although there, um, some people like the Street Fighter movie more just because of Raul Julia just chewing the scenery. But I remember somebody was saying that uh, Street Fighter is a more faithful adaptation than the Mortal Kombat movie was. I think their logic being that because Street Fighter didn't take itself seriously, but like, no, it's not a faithful adaptation at all, uh, because there are no streaks in the movie. <laughs> so, do you think you didn't like the original because of the movie itself, or were you just like, uh, maybe rebelling or something? Uh, I, it was, I think it was the treatment of Scorpion and Sub-Zero in the movie. They kind of had them as like, um, enemies working together, which I didn't like, but... You know, looking back on it, it wasn't really anything to really get that upset about. I think the movie itself was pretty faithful. It actually was pretty good. I, I thought everybody did a good job. And I know that Johnny Cage, who is not in this movie, was really cool in that movie. I really enjoyed the actor that played him. Uh, you know, Christopher Lambert as uh, Raiden was really cool. Christopher Lambert always playing ethnicities that he's not of. It's going to be weird not seeing him not in this movie. And he's new like Raiden. There you go. Yeah, you got to get that mask on. I've been fascinated. I don't even need to wear the mask. I just do it because I look like a Mortal Kombat character. Right, Michael. Right. Well, it's you know. like, no, we should like awful. So you got both shots? Go. I got the Johnson & Johnson one. It's a one-shot deal. Right. I figured, you know, I only have to get some of this weird stuff put in my body one time. This is awesome. That is cool. So any more predictions of the film before we go in? Uh, uh, well, I, I don't think they're even going to have a tournament. You don't think there's a tournament? No. One thing that was cool about the original movie, there was a code after it was over that you could take and use in the video game after it was over. I'm predicting that's not going to be the case for this. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Keep that stuff right there. See that? Yeah. I'm surprised matinees don't cost, aren't cheaper anymore, you know? Ten dollars, actually ten dollars might be a little bit cheaper nowadays, right? So here comes R.A. Bartlett with his popcorn. He doesn't know he's on film going to surprise him here. Hey! Ooh, what did you get? A little popcorn there? Yeah. Was it free? Yeah. Because you have a rewards card type thing? Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been buying a lot of tickets here, so uh, give it something back. In your favorite theater today and enjoy the show. Knowing your safety so is many our people focus. here. Brought to you by CinemaSafe. So we just saw the Mortal Kombat movie and I don't know what these guys think but i thought that it was pretty good, pretty how, good. what did, how did you feel I, I really liked the fatalities they were really cool um 
especially the Kung Lao one where he took his hat off and so the spoiler is gonna happen. Right? Yeah, so you don't have to spoil it for anybody. But yeah, I love the fatalities. And I, I just like seeing the characters, you know, come back to life on screen. Do you like when people lie on the ground? I do. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're recreating a fatality right there for us, maybe. <laughs> but uh, I can see a lot of people being upset with that movie also. And um, so. how come? I think because of the way they treated some of the cat, a lot of um, a lot of characters being killed off, that are going to make some people very upset. Um, and of course, you know the Johnny Cage thing, but they did sort of make up for that. You'll have to see the movie. That... The Johnny Cage thing? You mean that Johnny Cage wasn't in the movie? Wasn't in the movie, but he technically, I guess you could say, he does make an appearance in the movie. At some point, there is, there is a Johnny Cage thing that does happen. Okay, so before the movie, all right, you said you knew there wasn't going to be a tournament. Right. How did you know? Did you know. read up about it? or? I think I, think I read something like... Um... Oh, so that doesn't count as a prediction if you just read it and what? then... I have a... I, my prediction is... <laughs> that doesn't count, right? He cheated. He did cheat. A and... dirty cheat right there. So what, what did you think about the movie? Uh, I'll be honest, I thought it was pretty goofy uh, the way the characters were introduced was very Seltzer and Friedberg, you know, the guys who make the parody movies. Like, oh, it's Kung Fu Panda. Like, they very introduced the characters in a very inorganic manner. Uh, I did think it was very... Uh, in, uh, the Kano guy was kind of uh, interesting at first. He was pretty they, funny. He but, was definitely like the comic relief. Of the movie. But they definitely overdid it. But uh, this is something I noticed. Uh, they seem to be inspired uh, like the uh, X-Men movie, like the original script from the 90s, when they first pushed it around, they made one of the bad guys one of the X-Men, and because they wanted to make him like a turncoat uh, at the end of the plot, so I just wonder if that's where they got the idea to do that. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, it was kind of weird that it's like, oh, so Sub-Zero is the bad guy, Scorpion is the good guy, I guess? Yeah, well, it's well, kind no, of that, 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 Well, uh, that's kind of true to the lore, I think. That uh, is true. Uh, but it's cool to see Sub-Zero as like the main villain. Like he finally got his comeuppance, really. Yeah, isn't he kind of a coward in the lore? Isn't he just He's, like... They set him up where he does kill like Scorpion's family, but he was never like the main villain. In this movie he was. Really. Oh, here, here's, another, here's another fun fact. Uh, there's a comic book lingo called fridging, when a villain kills off the uh, uh, hero's loved ones uh, to sort of give them motivation for revenge. Uh, named after like a Green Lantern comic where the character's girlfriend was stuffed in a fridge. And so I'm watching the movie, uh, hey, he's uh, taking fridging back to its literal roots. Ooh, because it's frigid. Ooh. <laughs> Ow, yuck. Ooh, chili. Chili with cheese burrito. So what's with the guy in the beginning uh, talking uh, one sentence in Chinese and then one sentence in Japanese? Uh, because they're from different countries. Yeah, it is weird that they turned it into like a Japan versus China thing. I wonder if that's gonna get that bad in China. That, uh, yeah, I mean, that was... But good. like, it seemed like, uh, you know, the Scorpion character understood what he was saying. No, no, he specifically said, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't pick up on that. No, see, look at that. I'm gonna, uh, have, to so, I'm gonna have to watch it again. Did you, Kenny, did you think it was kind of out of the blue how, uh, uh, Scorpion rises from the grave just out of nowhere. Oh, that awakened I, me. I think we all sort of were expecting that. It took a while. To I wasn't. Back. I was like, what the heck? Oh, he's the Hellspawn Spectre. It comes back from the dead. Well, oh, well, I knew he the Hellspawn Spectre. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I knew they were going to, but like I said, they don't really introduce any of the characters into the action very early. What I wanted to see was when he ripped the mask off, I wanted to see a skull, like when he did this. It was just like another human face. Yeah, I wanted like to see the because skull, he could control I it. To see the flames. Uh, at one point, when he did the flame they pay, thing, they don't pay actors to have skull faces. They pay them to have people faces. Well, they should have had the skull face. It would have been a lot cooler. So it was rated R, I noticed, but I would say that it was more rated R because of language than for the actual violence. Yeah, I'd agree with that. There's like a hundred f bombs. That would get an R with the violence. That would get an easy R with the violence. But I get. But they were. I think they did swear because they're like, "Hey, we have a free ticket now." It's like uh, yeah. you might as well spend the money we're given, right? Yeah, it was just a lot of the dialogue. Also, was uh, it's very problematic. But, you mentioned the dialogue being problematic. Yeah. Do you mean just bad? Bad, awful. Yeah. Uh, terrible. Dialogue was terrible. I mean, so, you know, 
the, the, the big thing, good things about the movie, fatalities, return of some iconic characters, great fight scenes, bad thing, dialogue. You know, it did get a little boring at times. Um, and just, yeah, some, just some cheesy stuff that I think a lot of fans are gonna get all crazy about. I know, like, I can already see the Reddit and the twi Twitter going crazy. People hate that Cole guy. He's like the main character, this guy Cole Young. I know, like, everybody hates him. So it's just, you know, this is what you're gonna get. They, they said the studio demanded a new character. So that's who you get. I'm not even sure, like, what his powers were. No, uh, just, he, he <laughs> makes he makes a big metal shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that's this. another thing they got like very X Men with it. Like, oh, what's your secret power? Or, right. And then also some characters were barely in the movie that you really wanted to see. You know, they might have been in the movie for one second. Like uh, that vampire character Natara probably had like less than one minute of screen time. You know, so I know that's going to send a lot of the fans into a frenzy. I mean, I don't think I've even remember her from anything. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't even in... If they're gonna make this like the first game, which had basically seven characters and two bosses, they put, were, they were pulling characters from, you know, like the fifth game, the sixth game, like this. It had no, like, sense to it, really. It was just, let's just put all any character we want in there. They should have had just more side characters that got killed off in, like, five seconds. Right. Well, and, I, think, uh, I think that's what I think. And like stage they fatalities. Did. They didn't have anything like that or anything. No, and I don't even know if that was Reptile that was in it. That scene was really cool, but if it was Reptile, I feel bad because, again, he got like a minute of screen time. Well, he's an entire <laughs> species, right? So yeah, so hopefully they'll, they'll do that. Maybe. Smoke was in it. Smoke was it. I don't know if the character was in it, but there was some smoke in it. <laughs> uh, I, the, the Cabal guy was good. He was cool. Yeah, I liked him. I like Cabal. I know a lot of people love Molina. Uh, like, I can't wait to see the reaction to that. Um, she's like probably one of the best characters there is. But surprise, you know, no Katana, no Baraka. I mean, are they waiting to put these, no rain? Are they waiting to put these guys in? I mean, you saw like some Shao Kahn statues, so they're definitely setting up, you know, uh, some sequels. And I don't know if they're gonna make this like the Marvel Mortal Kombat universe. I really hope they don't. So I thought the uh, dialogue was funny when they would like say things from the game. That was cool. Like, what are some examples? Like, uh... Fatality. Flawless victory. Finish him. D did they say... I don't think I they think said... they said that one. I know they said flawless victory. They said fatality. Just uh, randomly in car... car right, they worked yeah, it into conversation. Kind of I mean, that's, that's all fan service uh -huh. right there. At one point, they were like, Insert your coin. Oh, test your might. That was one. Test your might. <laughs> At one part, they were like, Push the start button yeah. to the... Continue. <laughs> that was funny how Jax got his metal arms too. It was like they were so weak, and then all of a sudden they just yeah. mutated and became like the biggest, most powerful things in the universe. <laughs> because of his. Uh, that was silly. He willed them. <laughs> yeah, but does that mean he would never get ha his powers would never have manifested if he wasn't an amputee? Like, does it only work if he has metal arms? Like, it's. The Suicide Squad. So we just saw the Mortal Kombat movie, and I don't know what these guys th think, but I thought that it was pretty good. Pretty how, good. What, what did, how did you feel? I, I really liked the fatalities. They were really cool. Um, especially the Kung Lao one where he took his hat off and stuff like The spoiler is going to happen. Yeah, so you don't have spoiler for anybody. But yeah, I love the fatalities. And I, I just like seeing the characters, you know, come back to life on screen. Do you yeah, like when cool. people lie on the ground? I do. I, <laughs> I don't know if they're recreating a fatality right there for us. Maybe. <laughs> but um, I can see a lot of people being upset with that movie also. And um, How so come? I think because of the way they treated some of the cat, a lot of um, a lot of characters being killed off, that are going to make some people very upset. Um, and of course, you know the Johnny Cage thing, but they did. Sort of make up for that, and you'll have to see the movie. To... The Johnny Cage thing, you mean that Johnny Cage wasn't in the movie? Wasn't in the movie, but he technically, I guess you could say, he does make an appearance in the movie. At some point, there is, there is a Johnny Cage thing that does happen. Okay, so before the movie, all right, you said you knew there wasn't going to be a tournament? Right. How did you know? Did you know. read up about it? or? I think I, think I read something like... Uh... Oh, so that doesn't count as a prediction if you just read it and what? then... I have a... I, my prediction is... 
That doesn't count, right? He cheated. He did cheat. A I, dirty cheat right there. I do want to say, I, this place was a lot cooler when it was the Dream Machine. Well, the Dream Machine is way down there. Uh, that's true. Let's, we should walk by it because that's where I would go and play. You can't because the, there's a school. Where we used to go to the arcade is now a school. Talk about, uh, you know, the total opposite. I used to go play Mortal Kombat. Then I'd go to Barnes & Noble, which I think was just right here, and buy strategy <laughs> guides. They're not worth some money. Cool. So, I'm sorry, but you're all goofed up. This, there was never uh, there was never a Barnes and Noble here. It was Walden Books. Oh, it was Walden Books. Okay. And it was okay. down that wing. Now is that still was Walden Books still a thing? I, I don't think they're still a thing. Oh, wow. That yeah, place yeah. was great. That's too bad it's gone. And then I know this was maybe expensive gifts. We could buy some Mortal Kombat theme right uh -huh. So you said you used to come here and uh, play Mortal Kombat at Dream Machine. I don't yeah. remember ever. You guys stand over here. Uh, I don't remember ever uh, playing that game at Dream Machine. I always used to play at other places. No, they had it. They had yep, Mortal, the first... Mortal Kombat 2 for the first time, Mortal Kombat 3. And they even had it on like the big screen. They would have like a couple arcade games on like a big screen whenever they had Mortal Kombat 2 and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is also a very popular part of the game. So the first time I played Mortal Kombat was at Warwick Showcase Cinema. Oh, wow. Yeah, so no, that, I, I never played it there, but that must be cool. I remember DG's Arcade. I played it there a lot, too. I don't know if you remember that. I was... Like Ninja Turtles on the side. I was never allowed to go there because my parents thought it was sleazy. And, uh, I was allowed to go there. I don't know if that's saying something. Uh, <laughs> my first experience with Mortal Kombat was at a Burger King in Pennsylvania. A like, Burger like, King like, had a... Yeah, Burger King had a Mortal Kombat machine? Yeah, had a Mortal wow. Kombat machine. Like, it was just like rural Pennsylvania. We were going on a trip to visit my aunt, and I was just looking at it, and I, uh, I think it was just before the phenomenon took off. So, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe they just don't have arcades where it was, so, like, all the kids went to play. Uh, the games at the Burger King or something. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah. The woods are pretty weird. It is. So what what did you think about the movie? Uh, I'll be honest, I thought it was pretty goofy. Uh, the way the characters were introduced was very Seltzer and Friedberg. You know, the guys who make the parody movies. Like, oh, it's Kung Fu Panda. Like, they very introduced the characters in a very inorganic manner. Uh, I did think it was very... Uh, in, uh, the Kano guy was kind of uh, interesting at first. He was they, pretty funny. He but, was definitely like the comic relief. Of the movie. But they definitely overdid it. But uh, this is something I noticed. Uh, they seem to be inspired uh, like the uh, X-Men movie, like the original script from the 90s when they first pushed it around. They made one of the bad guys one of the X-Men and because they wanted to make him like a turncoat uh, at the end of the plot. So I just wonder if that's where they got the idea to do that. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, it was kind of weird that it's like, oh, so Sub-Zero is the bad guy, Scorpion is the good guy, I guess? Yeah, well, it's well kind no, of that, cool that, 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 well, uh, that's kind of true to the lore, I think. That uh, is true. Uh, but it's cool to see Sub-Zero as, like, the main villain. Like, he finally got his comeuppance, really. Yeah, isn't he kind of a coward in the lore? Isn't he just, He's, like... They set him up where he does kill, like, Scorpion's family, but he was never, like, the main villain in this movie he was. Oh, here, here's, another, here's another fun fact. Uh, there's a comic book lingo called fridging, when a villain kills off the uh, uh, hero's loved ones uh, to sort of give them motivation for revenge. Uh, named after, like, a Green Lantern comic where the character's girlfriend was stuffed in a fridge. And so I'm watching the movie, uh, hey, he's uh, taking fridging back to its literal roots. Ooh, because it's frigid. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. Ooh, chili. Chili with cheese burrito. So what's with the guy in the beginning uh, talking uh, one sentence in Chinese and then one sentence in Japanese? Uh, because they're from different countries. Yeah, it is weird that they turned it into like a Japan versus China thing. I wonder if that's going to get that bad in China. That, uh, yeah, I mean, that was... But pretty... like, it seemed like, uh, you know, the Scorpion character understood what he was saying. No, you know, he specifically said, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't pick up on that. No, oh, see? Look at that. I'm uh, watch, so... I'm going to have to watch it again. Did you, th Kenny, did you think it was kind of out of the blue how... Uh, 
uh, scorpion rises from the grave just out of nowhere. Oh, that awakening. I, I think we all sort of were expecting that. It took a while. To I wasn't. Back. I was like, what the heck? Oh, he's the hell spawn specter. It comes back from the dead. Whoa. Oh. Well, I knew he the was hell going. spawn specter. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I knew they were going to, gonna... but like I said, they don't really introduce any of the characters into the action very early. What I wanted to see was when he ripped the mask off, I wanted to see a skull. Like when he did this, and it was just like another yeah. human face. Yeah, I well, wanted they, to see because the skull, he could control I it. To see the flames. Uh, at one point, when he did the flame they pay, thing, they don't pay actors to have skull faces. They pay them to have people faces. Well, they should have had the skull face. It would have been a lot cooler. So it was rated R, I noticed, but I would say that it was more rated R because of language than for the actual violence. Yeah, I'd agree with that. There's like a hundred no, F-bombs. would get an R with the violence. That would get an easy R with the violence. But I get, but they were, I think they did swear because they're like, hey, we have a free ticket now. It's like, uh, <laughs> you might as well spend the money we're given, right? Yeah, it was just a lot of, the dialogue also was uh, very problematic. But it was funny with Kano using a lot of the swears and made, you know, his character a lot more fun. Although it is funny, uh, when I went, when I was like uh, in my twenties, I went to see Sin City with my dad. You know how that's a very violent movie. Mm. And after he was, he was saying, they didn't swear a lot during that movie. I like that. Well, he's not gonna like this. I wouldn't take him to see this one. So, so you mentioned the dialogue being problematic. Yeah. Do you mean just bad? Bad, awful. Yeah. Uh, terrible. Dialogue was terrible. I mean, so, you know, the the big thing, good things about the movie, fatalities. Return of some iconic characters, great fight scenes, bad thing, dialogue. You know, it did get a little boring at times. Um, and just, yeah, some just some cheesy stuff that I think a lot of fans are gonna get all crazy about. I know like, I can already see the Reddit and the twi Twitter going crazy. People hate that Cole guy. Who's like the main character, this guy Cole Young. I know like everybody hates him. So it's just, you know, this is what you're gonna get. They, they said the studio demanded a new character. So that's who you get. I'm not even sure like what his powers were. No, uh, just... he, he makes he makes a <laughs> big metal shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's this. another thing. They got like very X-Men with it, like, oh what's your secret power? <laughs> right. And then also some characters were barely in the movie that you really wanted to see. You know, they might have been in the movie for one second. Like uh that vampire character, Natara, probably had like less than one minute of screen time, you know. So I know that's going to send a lot of the fans into a frenzy. I mean, I don't think I've even remember her from anything. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't even in... If they're going to make this like the first game, which had basically seven characters and two bosses, they pull, were, they were pulling characters from, you know, like the fifth game, the sixth game, like this. It had no, like, sense to it, really. It was just, let's just put all, any character we want in there. They should have had just more side characters that got killed off in, like, five seconds. Right. Well, and, I, think, uh, I think that's what I think. And like stage they fatalities, and they didn't have anything like that or anything. No, and I don't even know if that was reptile that was in it. That scene was really cool, but if it was reptile, I feel bad because again, he got like a minute of screen time. Well, it's an entire <laughs> species, right? So yeah. So hopefully they'll they'll do that. Basically. Smoke was in it. Smoke was it? I don't know if the character was in it, but there was some smoke in it. <laughs> uh, I, the the Cabal guy was good. He was cool. Yeah, I liked him. I like Cabal. I know a lot of people love Molina. Uh, like, I can't wait to see the reaction to that. Um, she's like probably one of the best characters there is. But surprise, you know, no Katana, no Baraka. I mean, are they waiting to put these, no rain? Are they waiting to put these guys in? I mean, you saw like some Shao Kahn statues, so they're definitely setting up, you know, uh, some sequels. And I don't know if they're gonna make this like the Marvel Mortal Kombat universe. I really hope they don't, but they could do something like that with it. Uh, so, uh, I thought the dialogue was funny. Like they would, they would throw in, uh, you know, phrases from the, the movie. I'm sorry. Fatality. Let me start over. So, so I thought the uh, dialogue was funny when they would like say things from the game. That was cool. Like, what are some examples? Like, uh, fatality, flawless victory, finish him. Did they say? I don't think I they think said. I think they said that one. I know they said flawless victory. They said fatality. Just randomly in car, car, right, they worked yeah, it into conversation. Kind of I mean, that's, that's all fan service uh -huh. right there. At one point they were like, insert your coin. Oh, test your might. That was one. Test your might. <laughs> At one part they were like, push the start button yeah. to the... Continue? <laughs> that was funny how Jax got his metal arms too. It was like, they were so weak and then all of a sudden they just... 
yeah. mutated and became like the biggest, most powerful things in the universe. <laughs> because of his... Uh, that was silly. He willed them. <laughs> yeah, but does that mean he would never... Get, ha, his powers would never have manifested if he wasn't an amputee? Like, does it only work if he has metal arms? Like, it's... Now, what do you think of like the tattoos? Um, and like you know, Sonya didn't have one. It's an interesting way to get them to go to the island and participate in the tournament. Um, you know, but mm -hmm. I wasn't like, I didn't find that to be totally crazy. I, I really liked the dragon fatality with the flames and the dragon. That was from Mortal Kombat too. So they, they pulled out some iconic fatalities. It would be I noticed that like within one minute, someone pronounced the name of Raiden and then someone pronounced it Raiden. Raiden. Right. Yeah, I, I didn't pick up on is that. Is it either one, Raiden or Raiden? It should just be Raiden. The, in his original god tongue, like, it's pr unpronounceable, so it might as well be anything. Okay, all right. I would say this movie was better than Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but not better than the 1995 movie. That's, that's how I'm going to leave that. Okay, I, I thought it was uh, worth watching. There's it not much, much to choose from. The theaters are starting to pick up. There were a decent amount of people. So if you're vaccinated and feel safe, I recommend you go see it. Yeah, I definitely recommend going to see it on the big screen instead of downloading it or watching it for free on HBO Max. It's one of those movies you should, you should see on the big screen. Yeah. I'm gonna eat some ribs. Yummy.